Hey guys, it's Bob again, and today I'm going to do uh, Ventoy, which is another uh, US Live or USB Live uh, media creator. Um, so you can run uh, ISOs to install either um, operating systems or do your repair uh, live boot CDs uh, that you can install to USBs. Today I'm going to do this kind of live. Um, I figured instead of actually downloading and doing all this stuff beforehand, I just go ahead and uh, do it along with you guys here. So in Google, what we want to do is we want to bring up uh, Ventoy, V-E-N-T-O-Y, and then we can go here. And that brings up the Ventoy website. And I'm sorry, I don't know why this is up over here on this side. We'll give it a minute uh, and we'll get rid of that for you. But anyway, we'll go over here to the Ventoy site. And it's working. Trying to get there. There we go. And then um, here's some information about it, all that good stuff. Uh, if you want to look through that, that's kind of what the interface is going to look like. Uh, but we'll go over here to Downloads. And then this one is actually uh, Windows or Linux capable. Um, so if you're actually using Linux instead of Windows, you can do it there as well. But right, today I'm on a Windows system, so we'll download this Windows zip. And the latest release as of today is the 1.0.93. <clears throat> Scroll down just slightly here and you will find your Ventoy Windows zip. And like I said, if you're doing Linux, you can do, uh, do the downloads for it there. And this shouldn't take but just a second. It's uh, only 15.9 megabytes. And let's see, open file. <clears throat> okay, and then we don't need to worry about that. And we'll just extract to, uh, yeah, we'll just drag, extract to our downloads folder. That's fine. All right, so we can get rid of that and we can go down here, open up our file explorer, and go to our downloads folder. Nope. Uh, let's see. So downloads in Windows, not on my Mac. And there we go here. Open up Ventoy. And then Ventoy to disk is what you want to run. And then we'll pick our device. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Oh, I know what. I haven't connected this to my Windows through VMware yet. Alright, connect to Windows. And is that popping up? Sounds like it did. Come on. Oh, there we go. Okay, so let's see. Ah, there we go. Okay, so it pops that up. So then what we'll do is we'll click install there. And, of course, the device is going to be erased. Yes, we want to do it. Yes, we understand what we're doing. Uh, be formatted. Yes, we want to format it. And then while that works on that, yesterday when I was doing the video on um, Rufus, we downloaded the Proxmox ISO. Okay, so let's go back over here. Oh, congratulations, we have a working Ventoy USB. Okay, and you can also update uh, here if you uh, have an older version of this running, maybe you're um, maybe you're running 1.0.91 or, or whatever, uh, you can also update it there. 
So we no longer need Ventoy. But if we go in here, let's just open Ventoy in a new window. Okay. And what we can do is we can now take our ISOs and we can just copy paste them. Uh, let's see, copy, 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 copy. And paste. And then we'll give that a minute to, to do its thing. But if we hop back over here to um, the actual Ventoy, what happens is now you boot from um, boot from the USB that we just created, and you will get a screen looking like this, and it gives you all of your your ISOs that you've got loaded, like uh, the one we just uploaded here. Forty-two percent complete, still not there. Anyway, so it'll it'll show you that ISO in your here in your. Um, welcome screen and then you just select what you want so you upload that Proxmox and you upload a Linux CD and you upload a, um, a WinPE to, to rescue your Windows uh, laptop or computer uh, you can all run all those just on that one one um, USB if you've got a large enough USB to hold those what I've done is I went and bought a 128 gigabyte uh, USB and I started throwing all my ISOs on there so I don't have to go and do it each time uh, individually uh, by Rufus or Belena Etcher and I'll, I'll um, link both of those in the description below but that's pretty much it um, and then you can do uh, instead of doing the um, the Rufus or Belena at each and every time you just type take and copy paste that ISO into your folder there and then you've got um, it available oh see there we go we've got Proxmox available there um, so you've got it available here to just run and it's a much quicker process than having to go through and making the USB key uh, or flash drive available as each individual um, ISO every time you need it. So that's how you do the Ventoy uh, uh, as opposed to the other ones and again as always I appreciate you guys watching there will be links to Ventoy um, in the description below as well as my Amazon affiliate link and I appreciate you guys buying whatever from Amazon it helps this channel uh, move along and it helps me buy the uh, USBs that I use to uh, create these videos and show you guys what's going on the hard drives and all that good stuff and some of the other equipment uh, like the um, uh, if you look back at my King King Jack RV antenna TV antenna um, helps buy stuff like that so anyway appreciate you guys we'll talk to you soon bye bye